Hey you guys, it's 1.1 and 1.2 review. Points, lines, and planes in segment edition postulate. So let's get started reviewing. Alright, so today what I'm going to do is a couple questions on each page and then you're going to do some on your own. And then we're going to continue that throughout the video, so let's get started. Alright, so let's start with number one on your notes. Use the diagram to answer the following questions. I'm going to do A, C, E, and G. And then I'm going to give you the rest to do on your own. So that would be B, D, F, and H. So at this time, I would like you to listen and copy, and then you're going to do the questions that I haven't done on your own. All right, how many points appear in our figure? So let's get started with that. Y, X, W, V, Z. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. How many planes appear in our figure? Well, that would be plane D, and that would be 1. Name the intersections of line A and B. So let's find out. A. And then we have B. They both meet at a point, and that would be point W. And finally, name three non-collinear points. So non-collinear would be points that do not form do not form a line. So, and this has multiple answers. So any three points, I will give one example. That's Y. Z, V. Y, Z, V. As you see, they do not form a straight line. There's multiple answers throughout this page. Uh, you could have done Y, W, X, V, W, Z, Z, W, X. Any of those would have been acceptable. Okay, now it is your time to practice. So you're going to do B, D, F, and H. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, the first one asks, how many lines appear in the figure? There is two. All right, that would be line A and B. Name a line containing point V. All right, that would be line A. Would be one answer. You could also say WX. Line WX does contain um, point V. Give another name for line B. And again, this would be multiple answers also. So there's more than one correct. One answer could be YZ. Another one could be YW. And finally, WZ. Give another name for plane D. So again, you want to give three points that are not collinear, any three points that are on the plane. So I will give one example. Plane X, W, Z. So the main piece to this, it has to be non-collinear, not in a straight line, to name your plane. All right, let's continue. All right, so now on your notes, we're on example two. So I'm going to do now B, D, F, H, and J. Those are the questions I'm going to do right now. And then you are going to do um, the other questions in the practice when we're finished. All right. So the first question on B is how many lines appear in the figure? Well, I have one, two, three. And those, remember the dotted lines, remember, go through the planes. So that would be three. Name three collinear points. Remember, we're looking at points that form a line. So three points that form a line. And there is multiple answers. So P. N, Q would be one answer. You could have said M, N, O, and R, N, S. Those would have been all acceptable answers. Give another name for line E. So for line E, one answer can be M, N. 
you can do NO or MO. I think I've listed all of them. Name the intersection of plane K and line C. Okay, and here's our line C. They both meet where line C intersects a plane. And that, I'm not going to do a little racing, would be right here at point S. And give another name for line PQ. So here's line PQ, and that would be line D. All right, guys, you're doing an excellent job. Let's keep it up. So at this point, we're going to go on to the practice. You're going to do B, D. Ooh, I, you're not going to do B and D because I've done those. So you're going to do A, C, E, G, and I. So at this point, if you could do A, C, E, G, and I. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did. How many points are on our figure? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. All right, let's go on to C. How many planes are on our figure? So we've got K. And we've got L right underneath, so that will give us two planes. E, name four non-coplanar points. Four points that are not on the same plane. So again, I will go over it and then we can discuss. So we can say T, U, R, Q. T is on K's plane, U is on L's plane. R is not on a plane, and Q is not on a plane. So they're in non-coplanar points. So they're all are not on the same plane. Name the intersection of PQ and MO. So PQ, MO, they both intersect at one point. And that point is right here which would be N, point N. Give another name for line L. So let's find plain L, excuse me. Find another name for plain L. So we found plain L, so again we have to find three points that are non-collinear. So we're going to say plain. And again, there's multiple answers to this, so I'm going to give one example, N-O-U. You could have done M-M-O-U is one example, and there's multiple examples for these. All right, you guys, keep it up. Let's continue. All right, on our notes, we're on number three. I'm going to do A, C, E and G, and you will do the others, B, D, F, and H in a moment. How many points are on our plane? Well, we've got a point at A, we've got a point at B. Our lines are intersecting these points, so we're not really seeing, it's not like G and H where we're really seeing a dot. So those can still be points with the intersection of those lines. So A, C, D, E, and F. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I missed a point. Good job. All right, how many planes are in our figure? Now, planes on our figure, well, we have one back here. 
That's a rectangle, so that's one. Then we have our triangle in the front, that's two. Then we have our triangle in the back, that's three. Then we have our plane that's kind of the bottom rectangle, that's four. And then it's kind of on top rectangle up here, that's five. Name four coplanar points. So we're looking at four points that are on the same plane. Now remember that there is multiple answers to these. So here's one of them. So D, A, B, and E. So we're really looking at this one plane right here, this back rectangle of our figure. All right, and name the intersection of the planes of B, C, H, which is this plane right here, and D, E, F, which is our rectangle plane, right? or excuse me, triangle plane right here. As you see, they both meet at our line E, F. All right, guys, keep it going. You're doing an excellent job. So now it's your time to practice. So you're going to do B, D, F, and H. Please pause the video, and when you're ready, please unpause. All right, how many lines are in our plane? That would be one, two, three, four. Five, six, don't forget your dotted lines. Seven, eight, nine. Those dotted lines do count as lines. They just are trying to help you see the three dimensional or the all the planes that are present. Trying to make it three D then two D. Name three collinear points, three points that form a straight line. So one example is C H. F, you could have also said DGF would have been another great example. Name the intersection of ABC and ABE. So ABE would be our back rectangle and then our triangle. Where do they both meet? That would be line AB right here. That's where both planes meet. Name the intersection of line AD and DF. They are both meeting at point D. All right, guys, keep it up. Awesome job. All right, so now we're going into some segment addition to kind of help us out and get us some practice to get us read it. <laughs> ready. All right, if df is 9x minus 39, what is ef? So remember that de and ef, I'm going to add them together, so 47 plus 3x plus 10 equals 9x minus 39. I want to first combine like terms and get 3x plus 57 equals 9x minus 39. I want, all right, you want to subtract the 3x to the other side with a 9, so you get 57 equals 6x minus 39. Add the 39 to the 57 and you get 96 equals 6x. Divide the 6 into the 96, and you get 16. Now, EF is our segment, is what I need to find the value. So that means I need to substitute back in. So to solve for EF, I take 3x plus 10, and I substitute in my x, which is 16. And I add it to 10, which will give me an answer of 50. 
8, and that is my answer. All right, for number 6, H, J is 7X minus 27. I need to find the value of X. So again, I want to make sure that I'm adding H, I plus I, J. So I'm going to say 3, x minus 5 plus x minus 1 equals 7x minus 27. I combine like terms, I get 4x minus 6 equals 7x minus 27. Now, I'm going to subtract the 4x to the 7x, so I get negative 6 equals 3x minus 27. Then I add the 27 to the negative 6, which is 21 equals 3x. I divide 3 into 21 and x equals 7. Guys, now it's time for you to practice. So, for you, if you guys can, please do 1, 2, 3, and, f one, two, three, and 5. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. So at this time, please pause the video, practice those questions, and when you're ready, unpause. Welcome back, you guys. Let's see how well you did. All right, question one says LM is 22 and MN is 15. What is LN? So what you want to do is, since LN is my whole line, you would want to take 22 plus 15, and you would get 37. For our next question, it states that LN is 54, so that's our whole line, and LM is 31. It wants MN. So we know 31 plus x, representing mn, to lm plus mn equals ln, which is 54. So we want to subtract 31 to both sides. And we would get, as our answer, 23. All right, number three, it says, what if rt is 36? What is the value of x? So what we want to do is take rs plus st and set it equal to rt, which is 36. We're going to say 6x plus 1 plus x plus 7 equals 36. Combine like terms, you get 7x plus 8 equals 36. Subtract 8 to both sides, you get 7x equals 28. Divide by 7 and x will equal 4. Excellent job, you guys. Keep it up. All right. If w, u, w is 6x minus 35, what is UW? All right. Since UW is our whole line, we would want to take UV, which is 19, and add it to VW, which is 4x minus 20, and set it equal to our whole line, which is 6x minus 35. Combine like terms, we're going to get 4x minus 1 equals 6x minus 35. We want to subtract the 4x from the 6x, so we're going to get negative 1 equals 2x minus 35. We want to add the 35 to the negative 1, so we're going to get 34 equals 2x. We divide 2 into 34 and we get 17. Now we need to substitute back in. So we're going to take the value of UW and substitute in our x, so UW. So we're going to do 6 times 17 minus 35, which we get 67. All right. Good job. Keep it up. You're doing awesome. All right. I'm going to do number 7 with you. And then you're going to practice number eight. All right. All right. BD is 7x minus 10. BC is 4x minus 29. And CD is 5x minus 9. Find each value. 
Alright, so what I'm going to start with is finding x and then substitute for each one. So, as before, with the segment addition postulate, we're going to take BC plus CD and equal our whole line, which is BD. So what we're going to do is 4x minus 29 plus 5x minus 9 equals 7x minus 10. Combine like terms first, and when we do so, we'll get 9x minus 38 equals 7x minus 10. We want to subtract 7 from our 9x, so 9x minus 7x, which will give us 2x minus 38 equals negative 10. Then we're going to add the 38 to the negative 10, so we're going to get 2x equals 28. We divide by 2, and x will equal 14. So that's our first answer. Now we have to do some substituting in. So we'll start with BC. So we're going to do 4 times 14 minus 29, which will be 27. Then we'll do CD, 5 times 14 minus 9, which will be 61. Now to do BD, you can also substitute in for that. So you can do for BD, so I'm going to give you two options. You can do for BD, 7 times 14 minus 10, that is perfectly acceptable which is 88, or here's your other possibility. You can also take and add C, B, C, and C, D, which is 27 plus 61, which will give you 88. All right, you guys, here's your final problem, and this is the one you're going to practice is number 8. At this time, please pause the video, practice the problem, answer the questions, and when you're ready, unpause. Welcome back. Let's see how well you did. If BD is congruent to BC, okay, I'm going to make some congruent marks, and BD is 5x minus 26, and BC is 2x plus 1, and AC is 43, what's AB? All right, let's get started. First thing I notice is our congruency. So what I know is BD and BC are the same. So I can set them equal to each other to find the value of x. So I'm going to say 5x minus 26 equals 2x plus 1. I'm going to subtract 3 to the 5x. And I subtract 2 from the 5x. I'm going to get 3x minus 26 equals 1. I'm going to add 26 to the 20, 26 to the 1 and get 3x equals 27. Divide by 3 and I get 9. Now that's the value of x. Now BC, I'm going to find the value of BC. If I find the value of BC, then I can subtract it from AB from AC to find AB. So, what I'm going to start is finding the value of it. So, I'm going to do 2 times 9 plus 1, which is 19. So, I'm going to replace that with 19. So, to find AB, I'm going to say 43 minus 19 equals 24. And that would be my final answer. All right, you guys, good job. Keep it up. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please contact me. Uh, you can rewatch the video as many times as you like and any section as many times as you like. Your homework, good luck, stay safe, and have a good day. Bye-bye.